Yo guys, what is going on? I am Face, and this is another tutorial. My last one got a lot of love. Um, this guy said, "Can you do a video on your velocity settings?" So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do um, trick shotting first. So I've got my velocity settings here, and then without my velocity settings, so just just so you can notice the difference. So first, let's show you mine. I'm gonna do a quick around preview. Which, if you don't know how to do that, shift B. Um, let's let's play through this. Pretty sick. I'm going to show you it without the velocity, just as, just to show you the difference between that and a normal clip. Well, not a normal clip, but a normal like edit. Um, but I'll play this. Obviously it just looks a little less snappy and um, it's less cool. I'll start with I'm going to delete this layer because that's an oh shit on duplicate, that's the opposite of what I want. But I'm going to delete this layer. I always have two video tracks when I edit. Um, so let's do this. I've got the, um, this video track is what I use like sort of, I use this to say like, like done, you know what I mean? Like this is a good track, I don't, I've got nothing to edit on this. Um, if I'm going to edit something, I'm going to drag it on the track above and then I mess about with it. So to start off with, let's click here. I'm going to take away about that much. Just so when it plays, it snaps from there to there. Just to make it look a lot like more rewarding as the kill, if that, if that makes sense. That looks a lot better so far. You want to do exactly the same with the kill cam, except instead of like to about there, you want to do it like completely half. Like so, and then you can drag that along a bit. So let's have a look at this, see if this looks good. That looks a bit too much, so I'm just going to drag it a bit more. And let's RAM preview that. Is that enough? That should be perfect. That looks okay. Um, if I wanted to fix that and make it look a lot better, then I could, like, you know, work on it. But that's for you to do and for me not to do because I'm still in a tutorial. So you right click this, insert, remove envelope, and velocity. That's how you add a velocity and you can mess about with this, do whatever you want, right click, add points and let's say you want it slow in the middle, you can do all this shit and you know, mess about with it. But this is my settings, at the start, after the kill, I put it up to 300 and I count 5 frames, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then I, I snap the next one there, right click, set to, and 52, and then I make this a slow fade. And then I find out any beats in there, like boom, boom. There's one in the middle about there. So let's find that in the song, just about there. Add a velocity point. One, two, three, four, five. Add point, snap, 52. And then at the end, I want to fast fade. One, two, three, four, five. It's pretty simple, it's just like that. Uh, make sure you do stick around because the kill cam, you edit that differently. One, two, three, four, five. And just like that. Um, I recommend not having like too many of these too much close together because the song goes poof, 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 and don't have like that. Poof, you know, just like skip that bit out um, because you want you want the velocity just to go smooth. Like poof, 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 poof. you don't want like all all like this crazy shit because it just honestly it looks a bit retarded. So add another velocity on the kill gun. One, two, three, four, five. Add points. And you do the same as like you did here on the beats, like there's another beat there. That's good.
at this part of the kill cam I am going to do this double beat but I don't if it's if yours is too close together if it's like a rap song and it goes then don't do that but if it's like this and it's not actually that far apart then do it if you count five frames back and there's no gap there then don't do it and then it comes to the end of this clip and instead of doing what you did there you want to one one two three four five and then you want to drag that still to the top make another one and drag that to 52 so it, it goes instantly goes fast there like that and then on this I'm gonna drag this all the way up one two three add a point to 300 one two three four five add a point to 52 and just so it it just looks cool really just like speed it up No, I've got that snap there. I want to add the um, the thing to that. Notice it, it goes, and I'm not doing it on that because it's not a, uh, it's not like the actual kill cam going into the trick shot, going into the uh, fire, doing all the spinny shit, all the fucking flicky shit with his hands. Looks like he's throwing the controller across the room. Sorry to all trick shots. I understand it's not as easy as when you control across the room, but that's how I do it. I don't get kills, but it still spins around a lot. Sometimes I put it on my knee as well. And it spins. But here we go, that's pretty much what I did. One more thing is I had a linear blur I had this linear blur like sideways and I have it 0 0.5 so I'm gonna keyframe this at the start after the shot 1 2 3 4 5 so after the shot it does that uh, blur thing and before the shot you wanna add another one but make this at the end and then go 1 2 3 so it goes into the blur, it starts blurring by three pixels, by three frames rather, and then it blurs out for five frames. Pretty simple. And you want to do the same on the kill cam. It looks really good and it just adds that little tip to your trick shot. Oh shit, I counted five then. Let's run preview this and I'll show you how much better it looks. And that is pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed. And um, if you want a sniping one, uh, not trick shotting one, make sure you just tell me. Also, if you want to see any more editing tutorials on like anything, if you see one of my edits, you're like, whoa, how did you do that effect? Just give me a shout, I'll always do them. I always will. Um, that's pretty much it. Peace.